Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Cottage. I'm back again with another pick a card reading. Um, today's topic is going to be who is currently thinking about you right this moment. So right in this very second, who is thinking about you and what are their current thoughts about you? Uh, we do have three piles in front of you. Pile one with the firefly spirit, pile two with the moth spirit, and pile three with the spider spirit. I do want to give a quick shout out to my subscribers. Thank you for all of the kind comments, all of the follows, all of the shares. You guys are supporting each other. I love seeing that in the comment section. Thank you so much for everything you guys have done. If you're finding yourself on my channel for the first time, welcome. My name is Amy. I do daily pick a cards Monday through Friday. On Sunday, I do a message for soulmates and separation. Um, if this is a space of inclusivity, light, and love, and if that's the type of thing that you're into, please pull up a chair and grab yourself a cup of tea and let's have a chat. We are all friends at my table. So we will have the timestamps listed below. I'm going to give you guys an overhead shot because someone mentioned that they couldn't really focus on the piles very well. So I will insert an overhead shot before I go on to group number one. So again, today's topic, I'm going to jump right into it, is who is thinking about you right this second? What are their current thoughts about you? I'm going to go ahead and start with group one. Hi, everybody in the group one who chose the firefly spirit and this red stone. This is your reading on who is currently thinking about you right this second. What are their thoughts about you? Uh, we have the firefly spirit here. And the firefly really um, speaks to me about your internal light and how you're supposed to guard that fiercely, letting it shine um, despite the pain, perhaps. <laughs> um, it's about faith in yourself, not letting that light inside of you go out, not letting any external forces make you believe that you're less than what you are. So that's the sort of energy I feel with this firefly spirit. You guys are going to get the um, Shadowscapes deck today. I will do angel messages and of course uh, love messages and some charms for you. But who is currently thinking about you right this second? Who can't stop thinking about you? Who is... Okay, so right away we have the Nine of Swords. So somebody's definitely thinking about the past and there's a lot of kind of depressed kind of feelings with the Nine of Swords. It's like a self-imposed, restrictive kind of anxiety. They can't stop thinking about the past. They should be looking forward, but their head, are, their head is literally in the clouds because they're thinking about you. This person could be an air sign. Um, this person could be a highly emotional person as well. Like I just get the sense that they're just maybe easily frazzled. We have the Six of Pentacles, and we also have the Four of Swords. So whoever is thinking about you is definitely in deep contemplative thought over you. They're kind of trying to slice through the um, mistruths and the, the facades, facade, facade of this connection, and they're really sinking into like a hermit mode almost with this Four of Swords. Again, a lot of air energy here. Um, the Six of Pentacles is about being generous and having balance. And I feel like this person is a very generous person to you. I feel like they, they, in the past, maybe they have um, taken you out a lot or paid for dinners. or I just feel like they want to be generous with you. They think about that. They think about this give and take. Who else is, who is thinking about group one? We have the page of pentacles in the reverse. So the person thinking about you, for some of you, is maybe somebody who isn't, it feels like an immature energy, but like in a sense that they don't feel like they have enough to offer you on the physical plane, as in, you know, job, career. There may be a person that doesn't have tons and tons of money. On the back of the deck, we have the page of swords as well. This could be somebody who's on your friends list on social media, who's keeping an eye on you, an ex who maybe still has access to some of your accounts. Somebody is spying on you. Somebody is definitely thinking about you. Again, lots of air energy here. You could be an air sign. Your person definitely feels like an air sign to me. Who is thinking about you and what are their thoughts? 
there's definitely a sense of lack with the page of pentacles in the reverse position when we see the page upright you get the sense of new opportunities um, but in the reverse position you really get the sense that um, they're feeling a lack within themselves they don't have the confidence that even a knight of pentacles would bring forth and they definitely don't have the confidence of a king so they're not quite secure in their own physical life yet they're i feel like they're working on it but they're really letting these thoughts about you um mess with their growth <laughs> the knight of pentacles here we go <laughs> so again because this feels like an air sign to me i feel like normally this person likes to keep things pretty logical um, this connection is, is dragging them into a dark place because they feel like they're separated from you. It does feel like a separation, um, sort of situation. Obviously we're in isolation, but this almost feels like a no contact situation for some reason for me. And we have the Knight of Pentacles here, um, earth energy, you know, the Knight of Pentacles puts his head over his heart when he goes into situations because he's willing to put the work in. And I feel like this type of person is, again, they're working on themselves they're willing to put the work into this connection. Um, and they're just, they're like steadfastly working towards their goals. That's the type of person they feel like. That one was flipped over a little bit. The Knight of Swords. So much air energy. <laughs> the Ace of Swords. So, <clears throat> the Knight of Swords he's very different than the knight of pentacles so it's interesting that we have both of these energies here both feel like a young man to me um again this is just energy you don't have to be asking about a man you could be asking about a woman but both of these feel like a young person in their prime i want to say just somebody who they're thinking about you so much that sometimes when the clarity comes in about how important you are they feel like just rushing in they feel like charging in with no forethought. It's like they don't have any plans for after they get there, but they just, they want to charge in. They want to be generous with you. And they're gaining a lot of clarity right now about this connection in this time of contemplation. As they're sitting thinking about you, they're really gaining a lot of mental clarity, cutting through those untruths. It's like breakthroughs. They're having a breakthrough about your connection through this thought of you. Feels like a very young person to me, like not very young, but it feels like, you know, a 20 something, just somebody who's confident, maybe a little bit, obviously not confident, that confident in themselves, but somebody who has youth on their side when it comes to being cocky, if that makes sense. Like, you know, when you're 16, you're not scared to start driving because you have that youth on your side. You don't have the experience behind you knowing that you could fail or hurt yourself. So you're just excited and you just charge in, which is the way you're supposed to be in life. So whoops I just lost one okay I picked it up off the floor it was the page of cups somebody wants to offer you a brand new love offer they want to bring in an emotional new start with you it's interesting they have the page of pentacles in reverse and it's followed up by the page of cups again this feels like someone who feels like they don't have quite enough to offer you yet he's not the knight of cups he's not the king of cups they're just someone who really they want that emotional new start they want to work and grow with you <clears throat> On the back of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. I feel like this um, disconnect and is really playing on their emotions. It's really breaking their heart. I feel like this could be a mirrored energy. You could also be heartbroken over the disconnect in this connection. I'm going to get some clarity using my beautiful... What other... What do they want to say? What are they currently thinking, this person? The Emperor. So they could come towards you with maybe um, not a lot of emotion if they bring forth um, an offer, which they do want to bring forth. I want to say that for some of you, this person plans on making an offer to you in the future, but that offer may come, they may bring forth this feeling of sternness or maybe a standoffishness that, that the emperor, the emperor is a very, he kind of reminds me of the king of swords. He's very grounded. He's unemotional. And I feel like that's what your person is, is going to bring forth that kind of attitude. It's so I feel like it's a mask.
What else? What are they thinking? The devil. I feel like they have some very sexualized thoughts about you. Um, with that devil card, the devil is about feeling connected to somebody, maybe feeling a little bit addicted to you. The, the thoughts that they're having about you won't leave their mind. You know, again, on the back of the deck, Ace of Swords, a lot of breakthroughs, a lot of mental clarity coming through for this person. Page of Swords again. <laughs> and the Two of Cups. So this person can't help themselves from looking at your social media if you have it. If you don't have social media, um, they can't help but ask about you, ask around, keep in, keeping an eye out for you when they are out and about, if they are able to. Um, and the Two of Cups just really signifies their desire for union. They're, they feel you could be their soulmate. On the back of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. The desire to move on into calmer waters, the desire for union is definitely here. So much air energy in this pile. Um, the Two of Cups, again, speaks to me about soulmates. It speaks to me about marriages. I do feel like your person wants to build something with you. They want to build something with you because they feel like your marriage material. Let's get some Angel Love Oracle. This one popped, flew out. Worth waiting for. Divine timings that work in your love life. So this, this person who is working on themselves... They definitely have a great energy to them. They may be a little bit unable to show their emotions, um, unable to show their emotions, <laughs> I want to say properly, it's not the right word I want to use, but it's like they have a hard time expressing themselves, but they're growing and they're working on it. Finances and career are an issue right now. With that page of pentacles in the reverse, it does feel, and this, this Six of Pentacles, it does feel like this person really wants to be generous with you, but the page in reverse here of Pentacles reminds me of someone who kind of has a lack of finances right now. They're working on that, I feel. They're working on that, and that's one of the blockages of why they're feeling kind of anxious and depressed with that Nine of Swords, because they feel like they don't have a lot to offer right now, and they want to. They want to offer you a lot. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy. I feel like this person could offer you a lot of happiness for some of you. If it doesn't resonate, getting to know each other. They just really want to spend some time, you know, getting to know you better. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop watching you online. They just want to know everything about you. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. We will pick these because... Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So that's message, <clears throat> excuse me, feels like a very specific message for someone out there. And if, if that message is resonating with you, you know who you are. <laughs> passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I felt a lot of passion with the, even the devil card. Sometimes I have to see the devil in reverse to think of that. But for this pile, I really felt... Um, like this person thinks about you in that way. They're fantasizing about you sexually. Let your friends help you. This could be somebody who's in your friend group and express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. I think it's always important to remind ourselves that we don't have to wait for other people's actions. We can't control the actions or reactions of other people, but we are able to um, leave no shadow of a doubt in our own mind by acting ourselves. So that's what Spirit is really recommending, that if you can't wait... It is worth waiting for, but if you cannot wait, you can make actions towards this person and see how that goes. What would they like to say to you at this time? I think you're too good for me. <laughs> they are working on themselves. You know, they have a feeling of lack. They really want to see a future with you. I worry this is all in my head. But I want to make things right someday. And that's, <laughs> I feel like the worry and the anxiety that they have is just anxiety, the natural anxiety that comes with being young and inexperienced for some of them. Like the worry isn't there. Like you, you would accept them if they came forward. I'm a different person than you remember. So if this is someone from your past or a friend from long ago, they're letting you know that they've changed, that they're growing up. Is it too late to apologize? And also, they're afraid that you don't miss them back. I 
Ooh, for some of you, I found someone else. But I have a lot left that they need to say. For those of you, um, if this is resonating that they found somebody else, um, I'm really getting the sense, if you consume my thoughts around the back of the deck, I really get the sense that, um, sorry, it's not really focusing. <clears throat> that they have the fact that they have someone else doesn't hinder the amount that they're thinking about you I can't make the first move towards you as well is one of the messages <laughs> let's get some charms for you Okay, so we do have both chains here, which sort of <laughs> remind me of the devil being, you know, feeling so connected to you, not being able to break that bond, not being able to stop thinking about you. We have this Olaf. I ch switched my Olafs because I was getting the other Olaf so much that I thought, well, maybe it's... <laughs> so I switched, but I got the Olaf again. So <laughs> it feels like maybe a relationship that maybe didn't quite get off the ground in the beginning. Um, a friendship, sort of innocent love, nostalgia. It's like this... This love represents a perfect love to this person. We have S, R, Z or N, and M. We have uh, a clock. So it feels like a lot of time um, has passed since you've maybe contacted this person. Uh, the cards are telling you that this is definitely worth waiting for. We have a little dolphin, a little fish, water energy here. I know that I, I said there's a lot of air energy here, but you could also be a water sign. We have the page of cups as well. So you could be a water sign, a Pisces perhaps. Oops, <laughs> poor little Olaf. So this is the rune of opening and, and I believe like new beginnings or something. Let me check that. <laughs> The rune of opening, it suggests fire and creativity, clarification. There's There are two times that the Ace of Swords came out in this reading, and I just feel like there's so much cl mental clarity coming in for this person during this time of focusing on you. They are gaining a lot of pearls of wisdom here. Um, we also have here... I think that might be like the Tower Rune. The Rune of Disruption. Um, uncontrolled forces coming in. So yeah, it's like the tower sort of energy. Um, I feel like this person is worried about coming forward right now, worried about maybe some sort of upset that it could cause in your life. If they are in, if you are in a new relationship, if they are in a new relationship, they're worried about what that upset will cause um, your situation or their situation. Okay, group one, that is who is thinking about you right this second. Um, these are some of their current thoughts about you and this connection. If you feel called to, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. I do post videos Monday through Friday. Um, if you're on Instagram, I'm over there as well. I do post daily collective check-in videos and just pictures and videos of what we're doing, if we're able to do anything at all. <laughs> um, otherwise, I hope to see you guys again at, on another day at the cottage. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to group number two. Bye, guys. Hello everybody in group two who chose the moth spirit and this orange marble. This is your reading on who is currently thinking about you right this second. What are their current thoughts about you and this connection? We have the moth here and the moth is a very interesting animal because it, it's, it heads towards light and scientists don't really understand why it's drawn towards light, but it, it heads towards light even if it results in its own destruction. And I just feel like this connection, it's like a moth to a flame. That's the sort of feeling I get. There's like an attraction, a determined attraction um, associated with this connection. And it's so determined that it, it nothing can stop it is how I, I'm really feeling. You guys are getting the Sante Morte. I can't say it properly. I'm sorry if I butchered the word. <laughs> um, Book of the Dead tarot today. Who is this person that is currently thinking about you right this second? Right this moment. I will say that this video is timeless. So if you're following on this video, you know, six months from now and... And you're like, oh, well, this video was posted. This is still a timeless reading, the Hierophant. So somebody, um, the Hierophant really speaks to me about um, institutions, um, 
like marriage and education and government. This could be somebody who works um, in government or in education or some sort of. This could be somebody who is also married, perhaps. Or you could be married. Just a traditionalist, maybe like a very traditional person. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody who really wants to come in and give you all of the bells and whistles. Um, they believe strongly in marriage. They believe strongly in traditional values, perhaps. With this Knight of Cups, he comes in with like an over-the-top offer, like flowers and chocolates and candies and just sweet words. And it kind of reminds... If you guys have seen that movie, Into the Woods, with um, James Corden, and that scene where the two princes are kind of battling their songs and they're just so over-the-top and it's almost ridiculous. That's the sense I get with this Knight of Cups. Like, they're charging in with almost a ridiculous amount of... <clears throat> love and and just an offer that is just so over the top <laughs> it's kind of what they want to what they want to do <clears throat> the three of swords though the three of swords speaks about utter heartbreak <laughs> so they would like to come charging in with this love offer but their heart is broken um and we're going to get some clarity on why that is the strength card I feel like they're really, really heartbroken about the separation, about not being able to contact you. Being separated from you is like being separated from themselves, like being separated from the light. It's like they're plummeted into darkness if they don't have you around. And it, they're really having to draw upon their inner strength in order to combat these feelings of loss that they're feeling for you. And they really have this desire to like come forward with an apology or they, they want to take the swords out of themselves. They want to remove these swords from their back. They really want movement here. Who is this person? What are their current thoughts? The Empress. So <laughs> this person, you know, thinks that you are just the cat's meow. They think you're mysterious and beautiful and sexy and everything that, you know, they're so attracted to you. The attraction here is undeniable. That's why they can't stop thinking about you. That's why they can't stop thinking about, you know, a union with you, perhaps a marriage with you. The Empress is just abundance. Every, she's just gorgeous. The desire to move on into calmer waters. The desire for union is here. The desire for an end to that heartbreak. But there's a decision being made. It's like a decision. It could be a decision between two people. This could have been a decision they made in the past for some of them. It's like cutting through um, blinders and blindfolds with the two of swords. Slicing through all of the untruths. But it's like they've blinded themselves. They're just so blinded by this connection because they have such deep feelings. They're in like a decision-making mode right now on to what they should do, how they should move forward. They could be making a decision between two people, but we'll get some clarity on that. The five of pentacles, they have a real feeling of poverty um, right currently in their life, like without having you in it. The, pi the five of pentacles speaks of deep loss. You know, again, a feeling of emotional poverty. They could also be struggling financially at this time with that Five of Pentacles as well. The Five of Wands keeps showing up on the back of the deck. So just like a real feeling of, of worry about conflict. We do have the Queen of Cups as well. I'm going to pull her because I feel like I should. The Queen of Cups just speaks to their opinion of you. This person um, has a lot of emotional attachment to you. They could be a, you could be a water sign. But again, the Empress and the Queen of Cups together, like they just think that you have so much abundant love and they really want to build a foundation with you. They want to build a life with you, watch things grow with you. That's really what they are hoping for. Let me get you guys some clarity here. What are some of their thoughts? The king of wands in the reverse. So they have a real feeling of insecurity. They want to be that king or the knight of cups charging in with a love offer. But the king of wands is a really self-assured person and they're really confident. But in the reverse position, it's like their assurance is gone. 
this heartbreak is playing on their mind. These, this decision that they're making, their sense of poverty makes them feel like they are not capable of coming forward with the offer you deserve. My page of swords is my watcher card. So I do feel like this person on top of thinking about you constantly on top of thinking about you right this second is attempting to slice through some of the mistruths in their life because that's what the page does. He sliced through, you know, inaccurate information. He sliced through mistruths to get to the, the truth of the matter, but he's also someone who spies. Um, and I feel like your person is spying on you on top of thinking about you. I guess one sort of just leads to the, uh, to another. Okay. So the two of cups and the emperor, it's interesting. These two cards came out in the first pile as well for this deck. So that's interesting. Um, and they came out opposite. Like, so this person thinks of you as their soulmate with that two of cups. They think about a marriage with you. Again, they think your marriage material with that hierophant with this here, here, anyway, <laughs> the queen of cups and the empress, their opinion of you is so high. They think your marriage material, but perhaps some of you guys have maybe been a bit cold to this person in the past, or they don't feel like they can approach you, um, with an emotional offer. I think they put on a mask. Um, they're feeling a poverty within themselves and they have this decision to make perhaps again, between two people. Um, there could be a third party involvement here. Um, but the emperor is a really stern energy. He doesn't use his head. He uses, or sorry, he doesn't use his heart. He uses his head. So I feel like this emotional poverty that they're in, they are not showing you this. You could have been cold to them in the past as well, but I feel like they're just, they're wearing this mask of, they're wearing a mask of being this king, but they're actually in poverty, <laughs> like an emotional poverty. Um, they could be doing well financially, but Again, for some of them, they're not doing well financially, but they're putting on this show. So let's get some clarity on, on that Two of Swords. What is that Two of Swords about? Is it about another person? What are they making a decision between? What is their indecision about? What is their indecision about, please, Spirit? Queen of Wands. So there could be a passionate, like they, they have a lot of, they think that you could bring a lot of passion into their lives. Let's say we have the Nine of Swords and the Chariot. I feel like they have a real anxiety about you moving on, about you moving forward in, in your life without them. Because again, you're the empress on the back of the deck. They just want to, a lot of their thoughts right now are just how gorgeous they think you are. They're just staring at your picture. I just get the sense of them just looking at the same photos over and over again. Because you're the queen of wands. You're the queen of cups. You're the empress. You're, you're everything. You have passion. You have love. You have beauty. You're the whole package. They have this anxiety and fear within themselves that, and this decision, again, this decision to make to come forward to you to go to the left or to the right, but they feel like a real lack within themselves, a real anxiety when it comes to this connection. Let's get some angel messages for you. Attraction. <laughs> Again, the moth, attraction, like a moth to the flame. They definitely think that you're too good for them, for sure. You know, you are the flame and they are the moth. Could definitely be an air sign. Let your friends help you. I do feel like they are watching your social media. Um, they could be in your friend's circle. Ask around. <laughs> Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I feel like this person does feel tethered by this connection. I feel like they don't understand why they can't get you out of their head maybe. And they, they might even try to go about their day with this, this emperor. And, you know, this king of pentacles, they try to go about their day trying to shake you, to shake this feeling and this, this attraction to you and, and shake the thought of you in their mind because it's constant and it feels like um, a bit of a burden. They kind of feel trapped in it. Stay optimistic about your love life. So if you guys, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So if you guys are feeling down about this, it requires a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honesty is always just the best medicine, isn't it? 
you know, slicing through those untruths with that page of swords, getting to the heart of the matter to end some of this anxiety. One more card, please, spirit, or however any you want. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and receive the highest energy of all. I feel like this person's anxiety to come forward to you and this deep attraction they have, it's almost like it's holding them back. They're intimidated by you. And I feel like it's unwarranted. Like if they were to have a heart to heart with you, they would realize that your feelings are pretty mirrored, that you have a lot of love for them. But they don't feel that safety yet. You see right through me. Oh, I, I dream of you. Sorry, a bunch came out. So you're not just in their waking um, consciousness. You're also invading their dreams. And that's interesting because we have the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords does talk about losing sleep, restless nights. They can't sleep because of this connection, perhaps. I think you're too good for me. <laughs> You are the empress. No one knows that I still think about you. Again, they're going about their day. That, that emperor kind of doesn't wear his emotions on his sleeve. Neither does the king of pentacles. He's very grounded. I have things I need to say. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations are definitely needed here because they want a new beginning. They want a new beginning and they want freedom from these thoughts in their head. Whoops. I cannot come forward right now. So your person is telling you that right, right, right now there's something going on in their life that prohibits them from coming forward. It could be, be their feelings of lack within themselves. I'm afraid of rejection. So they're feeling a lack within themselves. It's stopping them from coming forward. But we have, a, I'm, we have four more that fell out, and I wasn't going to take them, but I'm going to because they're your messages. Why should I hold them from you? Has too much time passed? There's a definite desire here um, for movement. But again, they're saying I can't come forward right now anyway. They worry that too much time has passed, but they're still letting time tick by because of that anxiety and fear. I don't, because they don't know how to fix it. They don't know how to bring themselves into their power. It doesn't stop them. They're dreaming of you. They're dreaming of a second chance. That's what they think about. That's what they're their thoughts are really centered around dreaming of this chance with you dreaming of a union because they desperately want to see you in the flesh in every way. Get some charms for you guys. Dig to the bottom. You have a chance to come out and play. There's a tree. A lot of runes today. Um, the tree remind this is a tree that my husband actually spun for me on a wood lathe. It reminds me of December and Christmas. That could be, um, that could resonate with you. My um, daughter made me this little soft heart, plush heart. Um, it just, it's something comforting, something home. They want to build a comforting home with you. They want to give you the comforts that you deserve. Sorry guys, I had to pause because my daughter needed help opening her banana. <laughs> Um, somebody could be musically inclined with this um, microphone or even just the desire to to publicly announce that they care about you. Y, J, and O. Uh, we have this little bunny rabbit. And it's interesting because it's the bunny rabbit kind of makes me think of the velveteen rabbit. So you could know this person from the time you were a child. But I also feel like this person's very jittery around you, very nervous maybe around you. Um, they're very, again, very aware creature, always under, always knows what's going on around them. But uh, fight or flight, right? Like <laughs> very aware, but runs away. Like if they saw you in public, I almost feel like part of them would want to turn around and run the other way so that they don't have to face you right now. <laughs> uh, we have a little commandment here. Tenth, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. So for some of you, if you've moved on or if they are, you are in some sort of relationship or they're in a relationship, they, that plays on their mind as well, not breaking up something that's established. Uh, there could be a religious influence here. We have the cross as well with that commandment. And we have a little, what is this thing? 
It looks like a little pile of grapes. Um, somebody could uh, live in a region that makes wine or that could resonate with you. Paper clip. This could be somebody that, you know, desperately trying to hold things together. This could be somebody you've known from school or from work. And let's take a look at these. Okay, so right off the bat, we have this. The, it's like the destruction rune. Um, I do feel like this person worries about coming forward to create some sort of tower moment for you. To, they don't want... There's like a fear of... Where's the word I'm looking for? It's like they fear... It's like they want they they, they fear change and they want to avert this disaster. If, if if it's going to end disastrously, they want to avoid that. This is the rune of breakthrough and increase in security. Um, I just feel like this time thinking about you has really has really opened their eyes to the depth of this connection for them. I don't think they realized it for a while. What else do we have? It's the rune of potency. It governs expectations and successful conclusion, positive energy and renewal, even rebirth. It's really what they're hoping for. They want that new beginning with you. What else? The warrior. <laughs> the warrior rune. Uh, triumph in competition. I feel like... For some of you, this won't resonate with everybody, but for some of you, I do feel like maybe you've moved on into a new relationship. They're very much aware of that, and um, they want that triumph in competition. They feel like they could, they feel like they could offer. It's like that Sean Mendes said, that Sean Mendes song. They feel like they can love you better than the person that you're with. And this rune is the rune of secrets and surprises, and initiation. It's like unexpected, you know, surprises. Maybe your person will come forward for some of you. You know, they have that deep desire to do so. They have the desire for movement with, you know, moving into calmer waters with that six of swords. So I'm not surprised to see that. Am I missing any of them? Did I not? I feel like I haven't. Let's see. This is like material possess. It's like material possessions and gain. Um, I feel like your person is struggling right now financially. Um, they may not be even letting anybody know that because of this King of Pentacles and, and the the Emperor energy. It's like they're wearing this mask of, oh, everything's fine and I'm a boss and everything's fine. But I feel like they are struggling financially and they're, they're working on that though. They are working on it. Do I have any more here that I missed? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. That's a lot of room. Sorry, guys. So again, we do have um, the cross here with this little charm, um, this little temp commandment, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Um, they could be someone who's musically inclined. Group three or group two, that is your reading on who's thinking about you right this second and what are some of their current thoughts. If you feel called to, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell button, head over to Tarot Cottage on Instagram. I do post daily collective energy check-ins over there. Otherwise, I do hope to see you guys here on another day at the cottage. Bye, guys. Hi, everybody in group three who chose the spider spirit and this blue stone. This is who is currently thinking about you right this second. Who has you on their mind and what are their current thoughts about you in this connection? You guys chose the um, spider, which is interesting because the spider is innately protective of itself and of its the people that it cares about. Um, I feel like you'll stop at nothing to protect what you've built and you want to build a, build a, a, a great home for yourself and your family and you're, you're just very possessive of it and I just feel like that connection this connection kind of mirrors this energy just this desire for protection the desire to keep it safe this could be a very creative person just somebody born with natural talent that could be you know a great multitasker as well so who is this person well this person definitely has a lot of love for you and a lot of desire to um, start a fresh new relationship with you it could be a water sign but we will see what 
They want a new emotional beginning with you. Strength. It's, it's difficult, though, um, not being with you. The strength is a, a positive card. Oops, I lost one on the floor. Is a positive card regardless. Two of Wands. But when I, I, it's like a fear of change when if they see it in the reverse position. It's like self-sabotage. For some of you, I feel like maybe they're building a life with someone else or they're just building their life in general and they have, you know, a lot of things going on for themselves, but they just can't stop thinking about you, which is why I guess you're on this reading right now. Um, they can't stop thinking about you. They want to travel with you. They have a lot of indecision when it comes to you. This could be somebody that you've known from the time you were a child. I just saw the Six of Cups. It hasn't come out, but the Six of Cups speaks to me about an innocent love and nostalgia. So that could be something that resonates with you. Queen of Cups. The amount of attraction here is very strong. It's a possessive type of feeling, I feel. Two of Pentacles. Uh, juggling. Somebody is juggling. I feel, um, I feel, I get the sense, um, for some of you, this will not resonate with everyone. Oh, my light just went out over there. Um, this will not resonate with everyone, but, um, I feel like your person could be juggling two people. I feel like they have an indecision about where they would like to be. They have, they have, you know, they're holding on to this life and they're, that they've built with someone, but they're still staring over here. It's like they're trying to stand firmly on one foot with what they've built, but everything's up in the air because of this connection that they have for you. They have a desire to leap into the unknown with you. Um, and there's a real heartbreak here. Definitely feels like someone who's moved into a sort of karmic relationship. You know, they have these cups behind them that are full, but all they're focusing on is the cups that they've lost. You are the cup that they've seen to have lost. Oops. Feels like a third party situation is definitely involved here. But their opinion for you, again, their attraction to you is so strong. The Queen of Pentacles is about security and attraction. And they just have this desire to, to tell you how beautiful they are. They have such a remorse. I just lost a whole bunch of them. You know, the Nine of Pentacles really just speaks to how beautiful they think you are. The Nine of Cups. That's interesting because that was one of the ones that just fell on the floor, but I wanted to reshuffle. Um, the Nine of Cups is like this smug type of feeling. Like, look at all my cups. I've got all these cups and you have none of the cups. And it's, it's like they think you possess all of the... Again, this is all energy, but when I say it, they think you possess all of the feminine wiles that are necessary... <laughs> It's just such a strong attraction for you and they really want they really want to build a life with you that they can be proud of. They feel addicted to you. You know, Ace of Pentacles is about offering up a new opportunity, offering up something to you out of the blue. Like they want to offer you this new life. They want to offer you a new beginning. They want to venture into the unknown with you, but they're kind of sort of just the hanged man kind of just surrenders to the universe. It's like they don't feel like there's anything else that they can do. They kind of feel like stuck in their own um, situation. So they're not, I don't feel like they want it, they're going to do anything about it. I feel like they're surrendering it to the universe. They're having these feelings of loss, these feelings of fear. And I almost feel like saying that they're using that as a scapegoat for inaction. Because they're saying, you know, there's not much I can do about it. She's in a new relationship. I might be in a new relationship. So I'm just going to surrender this to the universe, um, which is sometimes necessary. Sometimes it's just, again, it's an excuse not to come forward. There's all, what is wrong with me today? Hold on. I'm sorry. Hey, sorry, you guys. <laughs> Butterfingers over here. Yeah, so it just feels like they're surrendering it to the universe. This is an interesting card. It's not part of the regular tarot deck, but it makes me think of, it came with my deck, and it makes me think of somebody who's built a foundation with someone else, but their mind is, is in another place. And I just feel like your person, or maybe this is a mirrored energy, that you, you're you both in this family situation. There could be children involved as well, um, but their mind is not there. Their, or sorry, even their heart is not there, even. <laughs> 
definite feelings of apathy, withdrawal. You know, that's how they're thinking right now. And, and needing a transition, needing a rebirth. The death card is not necessarily about death just about a, they want a new beginning they want something to happen and on the back of the deck they really re, oops they really desire victory with you they have a strong desire for victory with you but i do feel like there is a family situation the children are really standing out to me that there could be kids involved here and that's really what's playing with their mind too the knight of swords the desire to rush in slicing through all the mistruths getting to the bottom of things getting the truth out in the open, but not a lot of forethought, <laughs> but their attraction to you. Again, it's like this, th they have such a possessiveness to them about you because you are so attractive to them. They think that you're their soulmate, back of the deck, two of cups. They think you're their soulmate. They'd like to have a future with you, a marriage with you. That's what they're kind of thinking about right now, stuck in their head, but feeling trapped by those circumstances. Ace of cups, the desire, again, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, brand new emotional love offers, what they want to offer you. And I feel like they're spying on you. It's inter interesting. This card has come out all three piles today. So not only are these people, you know, thinking about you constantly, they can't help but try to find you online. If you're not online, it doesn't stop them from trying to find you. They're Googling you. They're, you know, they're doing whatever they can to get just a tiny snippet of you because it brings them some kind of comfort to know that you're out there and in the world and alive and well. The chariot. The chariot is about movement. It's also about decision making. Do you go to the left or do you go to the right? It's a powerful energy. It's a, you know, once that decision is made, it's made. Um, but there is a decision in that. But there is also movement here. For some of you, your person could really be considering coming forward to talk with you. Um, to have this, you know, to offer you this new emotional start. But again, for a lot of you, I do feel like there's some people m muddling up the mix that would make things really difficult. But I also feel like saying that nothing is impossible. Sacrifices sometimes are made, but when you really want something, nothing is impossible. Let go of control issues. If you've been trying to control the situation, if you feel like you're trying to get them to come forward, um, we cannot do anything to, to, we can't change the actions of others. We can't. All we can do is live as happily as we can in our own truth and the universe will open up for us. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So maybe you feel like there's just no way that this could ever come to fruition. But, you know, even with this hanged man, you know, giving into the universe, I know that I said that, you know, it feels like they're using it as a scapegoat, but it's also an advice card. You know, it's an advice card to you as well about surrendering part of your, you know, feelings towards this connection, letting, focusing on yourself, healing family issues. So I, I mentioned about the children. I feel like there is, there are children involved here for some of you. We see the child in this card too. I feel like the family unit is what's really at the forefront here and what's really stopping this connection from coming forward perhaps codependency and what i find interesting about this card is that they say addictions are affecting your romantic life your person could have some sort of addiction that they're dealing with um, but i always just get struck by her face in this and this is the sort of the whole mood of this reading you know this person is thinking about you right this second this is their, like, their, this apathy on their face. We have the four of cups. This is just the look of apathy of what are they thinking? What are they doing right this second? Are they looking at the same moon that I'm looking at? Are they looking at this? Do they have a beautiful sky today? Like, it's just these thoughts that they're having for you. Wanting to be, to share a moment with you in time, even if you can't be together. Release your ex. For some of you, in order for this connection to move forward, you would have to release somebody in your life. soulmate card <laughs> fell to the floor this definitely feels like a soulmate connection you could be in a karmic situation right now or be very confused in a current situation but in order for this um relationship to move forward you family issues need to be healed releasing codependent you know feelings with other people needs to be released because it is a potential 
you know, this could be the one, this could be the one that could bring you all of the happiness. And they feel this way about you as well. They know that they're codependent. They know that if they need to move forward, they need to release, you know, and heal these family issues and let go of the control. And, you know, our, our lives have to go a certain way and we have to act a certain way. And we ha everybody has expectations of us and we don't want to disappoint anybody. At the end of the day, nobody has to live your life. Nobody has to, you know, live with the choices you make. People have opinions, and we let those opinions make our decisions for us sometimes. But in truth, letting go of fear, living in our truth, is the way that we find happiness. So let's get some messages for you. And that is not me giving advice to, like, <laughs> go out and, you know, for people to leave their spouses or anything. This is me talking... Everyone is, con is in control of their own actions. If there's something you don't like in cards, you can change it. That's the beauty of tarot. It's, it's spirit's way of giving you advice and advising you. But the choice remains yours always. It's always been you. This person knows that you're their soulmate. They've come to this conclusion. You know, they really want to build a foundation with you. They see signs of you everywhere that they go. Or if they're online, they're seeing signs of you everywhere. I have a lot left that I need to say. I dream of being reckless. This is interesting because of the, um, you know, deep sense of a third party here. They just dream about um, starting up an affair, I should just say. Don't give up on us. I'm trying to conjure you up. I feel like this is a mirrored energy for people out there. I feel like somebody watching is like, if I think about them all the time, if I watch these videos, I'm, they're going to call me. And sometimes that works. I'm not going to say it doesn't. I know you have moved on. They know if you are in a new relationship, they're very much aware because they're keeping tabs on you with that, that page of swords. I could lose myself in your eyes. The attraction they feel for you is undeniable. They are losing hope. On the back of the deck, we have the You Were Meant For Me card. Okay, let's get some charms for you guys. I don't want to get two rooms today. Okay, so that's interesting. We have um, the, the penny because we had, I think we had the, did we not have a page of pentacles or was that the other deck? So we have this penny here and the year is 1999. Um, you know, the desire to bring forth an offer to you is there for sure. The desire for a new start is there. It's what they really, really want. Gaining pearls of wisdom for sure at this time thinking about you, the, in, the inability to move forward. We have this little love charm. They have deep feelings of love for you. That's undeniable here. The desire for peace as well in their life, like it brings them a lot of chaos having you, having these thoughts of you all the time. We have corn. So somebody could have grown up in the Midwest or something or grown up on a farm Corn could be, you know, important to you somehow. We have this little, looks like a palm sort of to me, and a feather. You're looking at things from higher perspective, trying, you know, if I, if I see two feathers, I think of twin flames, but we have the one feather here. Um, taking advice from spirit, um, looking at things from a higher perspective to make decisions, the chain, a real again, the codependency and the chain is interesting because it really speaks about their strong connection to you and their inability to let you go. We have a little charm here. It's from the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not have any graven images. Um, religion could be um, could be an issue here. I also feel like saying that it's almost like this person worships the ground you walk on. It's like they're putting you on a pedestal. And it's, it's like a pedestal, like 
if they're married, they're not even putting their wife on this pedestal. It's like they're putting you up on the pedestal. You are the graven image. And, you know, they don't know how to, to reconcile that in their own minds. Um, this is the rune of birth and renewal. So I feel like they dream about having children with you. There's a strong children connection here. It's like fertility and birth. I do, again, children. <laughs> we also have... The rune of travel and refers to spiritual journeys and journeys of every kind. So this is a spiritual, we're all on spiritual journeys. This is a soulmate connection, it feels like. So they're working through this. Sometimes we need space and um, we need space from our soulmates in order to gain clarity on the connection, in order to truly appreciate the connection. Sometimes you can't gain that clarity without that space. We also have the rune of breakthrough. Increase in security. So the light of the world shines upon you with this rune. So being, <laughs> I feel like I'm um, saying, I said this yesterday, I think in my video that your guides are really asking you to be, to show gratitude for what you have in your life right this moment with this rune. Um, again, sometimes these connections require space. You're being asked to kind of take time and have some real, thought about this searching for peace in this connection okay group three that is who is thinking about you right this second these are some of their secret thoughts their current thoughts you know they don't want to give up on you <laughs> they i feel like there could be a third party involvement for some of you if that doesn't resonate um, or if this pile didn't resonate, you can choose a different pile or a different video. Um, if you feel called to, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell button, head over to my Instagram, Tarot Cottage, where I post daily collective check-ins. Otherwise, I do hope to see you guys here on another day at the cottage. Bye, guys.